All right, uh, Dan Kirsch here, Garfield Physical Education. Uh, got a game here that um, been one I've kind of been working through here for a while um, to see on how it works. Um, I finally came up with a ga uh, name for the game that I enjoy, and I call it Space Invaders. Um, and the object of the game, I play this with K first and second graders, and it can either be a rolling skill activity, a throwing skill activity. I also use it for being honest. And um, <clears throat> and you can also probably use it for kicking if you would like. But this, essentially what the gym is set up, okay, is that each one of the triangles here is cones. So uh, orange cones all in a line. These gray cones will represent cones on a straight line here as well and these represent the uh i call it the safety zones okay then the stars represent the students this is their safety zone and uh, the blue stars here is their safety zone now the object of the game is for the students to throw a gator skin ball at which i call the asteroids a black gator skin ball at, which I call the asteroids at the spaceships, um, the alien spaceships, because they're invading their area. So on the signal, on signal, I just throw out all different types of uh, slow mo balls. Um, so these big circles here represent slow mo balls. Um, maybe you have a um, fitness balls, anything like that where it's pretty easy for the kids to throw another ball at it and get it to roll. So on the signal, this student would go find an asteroid and their object is to try and throw their asteroid at one of the alien spaceships and try to get that spaceship to roll to the other team's safety side, uh, to the other team's side and vice versa. This student would go find an asteroid and they would have to try and throw the asteroid at a alien spaceship. Again, this is, this is a, uh, right here is a slow-mo ball and they're trying to get that to roll all the way to, the, uh, to this team's uh, safety zone. And the game keeps going. Now, what I mean when I try to talk to the students about being honest is, okay, if they, if any one of these students, if any one of these students represented by the star here comes in contact with, comes in contact with an alien spaceship, they have to do an exercise. So maybe they do three mountain climbers, uh, three mule kicks, maybe they do four ski jumps or whatever exercise you would like them to do. And then they're obviously back in the game. Now, for littler kids, uh, kindergarten, obviously, you really got to kind of watch because what uh, the little ones want to do is they want to cross their boundary line and go and take their asteroid and just hit the ball or hit the, uh, the uh, slow-mo ball with their asteroid. Now, you, you can decide on whether on what you let them get away with or not, but I try not to tell them... Uh, to not do that, I try to reemphasize that we're working on throwing skills. So I really want the kiddos to try and stay behind um, their safety line here, the boundary area, okay, and really work on that accuracy throwing and try and throw their asteroid at to one of the spaceships again to get it to roll over to the other team's side. Um, again, the kids kind of may, and again, you can look on, change it however you see fit for your students if you want them to kick it or not. But uh, that's just a quick little idea. I call it Space Invaders. Um, <clears throat> I know my K1 and 2 students get a good kick out of it. That's a lot of movement, and the kids are all kind of focused on different ones, so you don't have a lot of kids all throwing at the same ball. So, uh, that's it for this game idea here, um, and I'll have more on the blog. And again, I'll post this on Twitter as well, and feel free to give me suggestions and comment. Look forward to hearing from you.